Okay guys, uh, we are back with Trial of Ascension continuing from previously and we are now on floor 76 while well, Dark Werewolf Oh, I think, oh this is brutal, Dark Yeti and Dark Werewolf All of them have that um, damage reflect ability I think the Dark Yeti has a 10% damage reflect and um, if you attack it you will be inflicted with continuous damage I think they have attack speed slow as well. Um, Werewolf has disturbed recovery, I believe. So this could prove to be a challenging, challenging fight. Um, Skull soldiers. Wow. Okay. If the first AOE doesn't stun, you can always rely on good old cases. Okay, take that one out. Um, you should try to focus down the units which have a majority elemental advantage against your monsters. So for me, I have two win units who are squishy. So I will always try to take down the fire units first, unless the other units have uh, some sort of overpowered ability then you need to change your priorities a bit but so far um, game plan has been working definitely take down uh, the hellhounds first the golems do not do much damage oh nice stand there you shall not provoke cool okay first stage clear oh second stage sorry um so boss stage two stuns good start good start yet he's a swiping wow okay we are gonna lose Amon probably see that damage reflect and uh, we got continuous damage debuff on us more stuns Surprise attack. What? We saw that one coming. It's not a surprise. Oh no. I'm a no. Oh no. These guys hit hard. Phoenix hits harder though. Stuns the fielders. We have lost Sigmarus. Zaros, your only hope. Oh oh. oh, oh. Uh, okay, nice, 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 nice. Wow, I think if, if they took out Zaros there, I w I'm not confident in uh, the damage of uh, Bernard and the cases to take down both of them, so nice. Wow, Inugami lineup. Interesting. Six star, level 50 Inugami. They have surpassed the level limit. Well, most of these monsters are, are overpowered. Okay, so um, fire Nogami, yeah, take take down the fire Nogami first. You might not have a choice, uh, maybe, but uh, maybe uh, you have a lot of AOEs, and in the crossfire you take out the water Nogami at the same time. But uh, if you can't try to prioritize the fire Nogami because of his unpredictability, he can probably take out one unit if he gets that uh, proc to attack again. Multiple times. All right, so hellhounds. Um, I took out the Konamiya. No, it's not Konamiya. The light, the light uh, is Tion. Yeah, Tion. Took out Tion because he has a revive and uh, and the uh, he has that move that enables you to move next by filling the attack gauge. So yeah, took down Tion first. I hate birds. Not really, that's a lie. I love birds. Again, the dark werewolf. Golems can be annoying if they freeze you, but uh, they hit like a child with a limp wrist. Okay, time to, uh, to start saving up on abilities. 
to be fair though <laughs> the golems with their passive and high hit points you, you can spam your abilities quite a lot and uh, you still have time to refresh them before entering the boss stage so all is well guys all is well okay there was a motorcycle just going past really fast All right. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. We got one stun. Okay. Um, attack reduction on three of them. Oh, no stuns. Wow, he chunked my cases quite a lot. Done. Wow. Okay, two hits and Bernard <laughs> will probably die. More stuns. All right. Okay, seventy-seven down. Nice. Whoa! Someone demanded Zeros in the chat. Okay. Okay, more damage reflection. And okay, um, damage reflection and increase to uh, the attack bar. Wow, okay. So if you attack them, uh, then you'll be filling up the attack bar by 25%, which means they have a chance to move after you moved. So unless you stun them, then they're going to do something. Don't know what they're going to do, but they're going to do something. Probably dish out tons of damage. So I'm just winging it, guys. I've not been on this floor before, and uh, I'm just going with the flow, seeing where my units take me. That's weird. The other skull soldiers did not have an aura around them, whereas these water soldiers have that blue aura surrounding them. Interesting. Okay, oh, he charged me and then just he hit me in the face. Second stage. Oh, bounty hunter. Yep, definitely take it down, bounty hunter. I think. Uh, well, because he has that ignore defense passive or something, which means he can hit quite hard. I don't know though, the, the elementals uh, are focusing Sigmaris down. Okay, this should be um, easy. Easy, come on. All right. Okay, uh, dark golem, dark yetis. Stuns, cool, 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 cool. Wow, they hit Bernard. They hit Armin so hard. Such hard hitters. He's gone. Yep, he's gone. Okay, I need to hold off the onslaught until Zaros get his um, abilities reset. Gets the cooldowns back up. I think another wave of uh, Rain of Fire should take care of these uh, Yetis. Um, I'll leave the golem for the last because he's so tanky. He looks so tanky. Rain of Fire. No, you leave Phoenix alone. You leave that Phoenix alone. No! Can we do this? 
again. All right. Come on, break defense. Okay, I think we're safe. We have the shield on now. We are safe. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, uh, okay. These guys again. Um, hmm. I'll stick with Phoenix for now, I guess. If it doesn't work out, then I'll bring someone else along. Shannon, probably. Probably be Shannon. So we're so close to floor 80 now. Um, boom. Cool. Dark Bounty. Yeah, focus down Dark Bounty Hunter. I think. Because he has that. I think he has a uh, cleanse. Nice cases coming to the rescue. <laughs> so the reason I attacked that unit there, even though it was going to die, is to reset the cooldowns. Ah, uh, fire elements, focus down. Well, I think I think the light werewolf hits hard as well. So, but the fire elements can ignore your defense and hit really hard. So. I would say focus down the high elementals. Yeah, focus on high elementals. But that, wow, okay, that hit hard. So I don't know now. Force field. Wow, okay. He could heal. Didn't know that he could heal. I knew he had that strong attack, but I didn't know he could heal. Wow, okay. Nope, no stun. Defense break. Okay, cat stage. Um, the bird should be picking the cat, but I don't think that is going to be the case. Wow, every time I use my AoE and if it crits, then the dark martial cat will go crazy. Will go crazy. I think we need to get lucky with uh, some stun procs here. Because these guys are going to hit really hard. Wow, look at that water martial cat. I think they can stun as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. If only Zarus had survived to unleash one more arena of fire. If only. I don't see us coming back from this, guys. I mean, they all look low, but... Maybe. Just may maybe. Maybe. I don't see it though. Oh, he's alive! What? Are you kidding me? How is he not dead? What? No, are you serious? Are you serious? No! What? We were so close. Are you serious? Okay. That's it, no mercy. Wow, we were so unlucky with the stuns there. How many stuns did we get hit by the last few exchanges? Come on, man, come on. Okay, same story. Let's try to get to the boss stage. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Uh, hopefully, Zara survives. Uh, I'm definitely going to try and reduce the uh, water martial cat's attack so that Zaros can live longer. He is crucial to our victory. Wow. 
Is Amon gonna go down? Is Amon gonna go down here? No, I say no. Uh oh. I need some stuns, baby. I need some stuns. That's two, three, three stuns. Reduce your attack. Nice. Hit everyone there. Get your hands off, Amon. Get your hands on him. Another three stuns, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And one down, two down. Soon to be three. Three down, four down. Five down, cool. Here we are yet again. I'm not gonna make the same mistakes. Nice stun. We are really lucky there. Didn't get the uh, attack reduction. There it is. Another stun, I think. Two more stuns. Ooh, no freeze, unfortunately. Let's do that again. They're all awake now. We need stuns. Start stunning, please. Nope. Uh oh, uh oh. There you go. The water one should go down here, so Zaros is safe for now. You can unleash another inner fire, that's what we need. Two stuns. They're all pretty low. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. That's how we do it. Come on, guys. Come on. All right, uh, finally level eighty. Ooh, it is Julian. Increases the attack power. Okay, resistance by thirty percent, which means our debuffs are not going to land as often, and he needs to uh, to die only by continuous damage or crits. Okay, so let's see who he's paired up with. I can't remember who his sidekicks are. Wow, full death now, okay. Alright, so extortion can hit really hard here. Um, I think they have a lot of health, so I think if my win units get hit by extortion, they will probably go down. I can see that happening, so I will do everything in my power to prevent that. Stuns, cooldown reduction, attack, damage reduction, everything. I will do everything to stop them from unleashing extortion. Another thing is the Wind Death Knights, they do have that revive ability. Uh -huh. Okay, stun, stun, stun. It would be nice if you could take all of them out at once, but that it will not happen. That will not happen, guys. Alright, two more stuns. There you go, he revives, making everyone's health lower though. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna save up my Rain of Fire. I need it. I need Rain of Fire for the next stage. God knows what we'll find in the next stage. Oh my goodness. The Death Knight has that damage mitigation passive, 15%. He has less chances of uh, landing crits on him. But I think I'm just... I'm gonna ignore the Dark Death Knights because I think the the Light Death Knight has a really strong ability which can chunk you. So I'm just gonna focus down the, the Light Death Knights, regardless of the uh, damage mitigation passive. With the defense break, it's not gonna matter too much. Okay, one more to go. One more to go. He should go down from the continuous damage prox. As you can see, Aman is not healing because this guy has 50% crit rid Oh, it's Light Archangel. Oh, they have that counter attack ability or something if you crit. Oh my god, two of them. There's two of them. 
or when they remove passives as well or removes beneficial effects their basic attack can remove beneficial effects there you go oh my god two of them I think they have a heal and they can remove beneficial effects and they counter attack upon crit so if you crit anyone regardless if it's on his teammate he will attack you <laughs> Okay, and since Aman has a lot of crit, he's gonna, they're going to be critting a lot. Mm, they're going to be hitting a lot. Do they have 100% crit? Yeah, I think they have 100% crit rate. So that's two crits already. Yeah, they definitely have 100% crit. They hurt, man. They hurt so much. What is a viable strategy here? I could try focusing down. I mean, he's chunked quite a lot there. I could try focusing down this uh, Julianne. But since he, he cannot die from uh, normal attacks, that might not be the best strategy. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my god, crits. If we crit, he they crit. Can we do this? Maybe, I don't know. We need to take this guy out first. Yeah, I need I need to keep landing uh, the attack damage reduction on the vampire. No, I don't think we can do it, guys, because he has that life steal basic attack. Mm. Okay, all right, Shannon, it's up to you. Glancing hits all day. Oh boy. Okay. So I'm going to stop it here, guys. Okay. I'm going to stop it here.